Good morning, Alan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's date is October 3rd, and today's day of recognition is National Pet Obesity Awareness Day. And today is Walkathon Turn-In Day number three, which is the last day. Now we're going to Mr. Paws. Good morning, Aylen. Have a happy Wednesday today. Don't forget it's a college day, so wear your attires on Wednesdays. Um, for Aylen Strong, the students this morning, we have Jim Jordan, nominated by Mr. Watanabe for being responsible. We have Matthew Crane, nominated by Mrs. Mercer for turning a... Uh, Turning in a lost item. What a wonderful thing. It's great to see those kinds of things in our school. Uh, next up, we have Cody Jennings, nominated by Mrs. Stone for being service-oriented. And last but not least, we have Taylene Lee, nominated by Mrs. Flood um, for being responsible and doing wonderful work. Taylene, Cody, Matthew, and Jim. Come down to the main office. You are Aiden Strong. Have a great Wednesday. Please make sure that all classroom recycling containers have been dumped into the large recycling bins by the beginning of first period today. The large bins will be taken outside during first period this morning. Thanks for your help. The varsity and JV girls volleyball team ventured to face the Baloo Bruins. The varsity came up short, losing in three games, but showed improvement in team effort by having 15 three-hit rallies in each game. The JV defeated the Bruins by coming back after losing the first game and then winning the second game 23-21 in the third game, 21 to 16. Way to go, girls! Both teams take on the stall take on the stall storm at home on Wednesday. Hope to see you there. Your Aylen Falcon varsity football team won their first game of the season Friday, beating Edgemont 12 to 8. Chase McMillan scored two touchdowns and Austin Ayers forced two fumbles. In the fifth quarter action, Ashley Kelly was the star of the show, running for a long touchdown on the very first play and following that up on defense with several tackles for loss. Great job. Please dismiss the girls' cross-country team today at 1.40 for their meet with Callis. And now time for a special commercial. Good morning, Aylan, and this is a very special day indeed. It is Walkathon Turn-In Day number three. And so this morning, right after announcements, someone from the leadership class will be stopping by your first period class to grab, grab the piles and piles of donations that everyone is turning in. It's going to be a tremendous day. Um, poor Mrs. Mercer down in the main office counting on all this money. I just hope that we're able to give you results and updates on all the competitions later on this afternoon. Speaking of competitions, if you didn't hear me yesterday afternoon, our top classes as of yesterday, uh, in fifth place was Mrs. Pink's room. In fourth place, the students in Mr. Watanabe's room. In third place, uh, Mrs. Smith's class. In second place, Bielik. And in first place, Mrs. Allen. And her class was averaging $10 per person so far after two days. That's amazing. Uh, as far as grade level spirit points, the ninth graders were in fourth place, seventh and third. Eighth graders were in second place, and sixth graders are holding on to the lead as of day two. Classroom competitions in the Smith versus Pink competition. This is a tough one. Uh, Mrs. Smith has a lead by just a couple dollars per person. Uh, Fredrickson versus Beal. Uh, Fredrickson has a lead in that one. Miller versus Solly. Um, Solly had been skunked so far, so uh, Miller has the lead there. Hopefully today we'll turn about uh, make things turn around. Ramser versus Flood. Ramser has the lead in that competition. And finally, I don't even want to say this, but Bielik versus Spanny, it's no competition. Bielik is way ahead. But of course, everything's going to change today because a lot of people are turning in lots of money to support your ASB. If you have any questions or concerns about uh, your envelopes or whatever, uh, stop by and see me in room 154. 
Guys, I'm looking forward to hearing our grand total that we get today. And remember, Friday is the walk for everybody turning in $20 or more. Thanks again for all of your efforts in our ASB Walkathon. Now back to you guys. Now time for A1 birthdays. Today's Alem birthday is Haley Brooks, and the famous birthday is singer Gwen Stefani. Today's Snapple fact of the day is below the Kalahari Desert lies the world's largest underground lake. Alem, have a good day.